What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We outside. You can hear the birds. So yeah, I like that. I like that. But the disadvantage with that is that um, the audio might be trashed. The lighting might be trashed. But you know, we we keep it moving, right? Yeah. So it's basically a quick update of what has been happening. I've been away for a couple of days uh it's been a week now since i left although you guys are bugging i see everything going to shits ever since i left like you know i can't leave you guys for seven days without fucking up the whole fucking planet what's going on uh papoos put hands and feet on easy the block captain papoos and remy might be breaking up um the fucking titanic billionaires sleeping with the fishes Miguna Miguna, Babo Wino and a guy called Mike Jacobs are beefing on Twitter. What the fuck is happening in Nairobi right now, guys? I only have one more week left before I come back home. Please fix everything before I get there. Come on. Huh? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so those are some of the things I've been having. I've been seeing on, online the few times I happen to check in because I'm not really out there this uh couple of days I've been feeling a bit unwell. It's cold as fuck out of here man. It's oof. like you can see I have a t-shirt on and there's something inside like a sweater or some shit. That's how cold it is right here. But I'm enjoying every minute of it. Me and my brother just riding around seeing sights. Uh, you know we are outside. Let me just put it in simple terms. We are fucking outside. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if you guys know the full story of what has been happening to Papus and Easy the Black and Remy Ma. Chrome 23 event just happened and apparently people are saying that uh, Remy has been cheating on Papus with Easy the Block, which is weird because Black Love, come on, we thought Pap and Remy were like Black Love. So what is happening over there? Um, also, this could just be a publicity stunt. Like Chrome 23 was struggling with views a little bit on YouTube. They only have a couple of videos. So I guess for somebody trying to be on some conspiracy theory shit, they would say that this was a plot to uh, get some views. I don't know. It could be. Also, Titanic billionaires sleeping with the fishes. Uh, what drove these guys to want to go down there and see the cuts? Okay, I could be wrong with this story, but apparently this is not the first time that some of the guys who went this time, this is not their first time. Some There's a guy who has been there like 37 times. This is like the 38th time. So I, I don't know what he hasn't seen in that wreckage that he wanted to see for 38 times. Kind of weird. Uh, the other guy, the, the owner, I think the owner of the company that sends people down there, this is probably his second time. Because I remember watching a video of him explaining to these guys like the first time they went there, this is what they did, blah, blah, blah. So meaning it was his second time. So what was he checking for that he didn't see the first time? That's that's, that's, that's the question we might be asking. Some of these stories, I, I have no like fucking knowledge of what's going on. So I would appreciate it if you hit the comment section and let me know what's going on. If you have any insights, if you know anything, I think uh, you you are you are online more than I am for this last couple of days. Uh, when I'm in Nairobi, usually like I'm with my phone too. I'm just checking out what's going on online. But over here. Um, I'm out and about, sometimes I run out of charge, sometimes we are at a place where I just don't want to be with my phone because I'll be rude. Uh, I'm not one of those guys in a group of people and I'm always like my phone, uh, put my phone away sometimes when there's people around. So yeah, so I'm missing a lot. But um, when I get back, I have a story for you guys. Uh, damn. This one, this one, <laughs> this one is heavy. I don't even know how to, to say it, but basically I had an experience at the Kenya-Tanzania border when I was coming this way. That was on the 15th of uh, June. 
just a day before my birthday, I had like a very scary event at, at the border near death, basically face to face with death. And it kind of scared me a little bit. So by the time I got to Arusha, I wasn't even in the mood to do any videos. And you know, some of the things you've seen me posting is because spur of the moment I'm there, I take a picture and then I post, but I've not been in the mood to post anything because of uh, what happened at the border uh, on the 15th of June. That shit was kind of scary. Um, I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Uh, if, if, <laughs> if I, uh, you know, it's, it's still, I'm still shook a little bit. I can, I'm still shook from it. So. Give me some time, maybe uh, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, also, let's talk about uh, Miguna, Babu Wino, and uh, Mike Jacobs, who I never heard of before. I just saw it today in the morning when it was uh, it was trending. So apparently, uh, Miguna said uh, Babu Wino killed this Mike Jacobs guy. So Mike Jacobs uh, came out and be like, hey, dude, I'm still alive. Uh, what's going on uh, so I think he might be suing that's what he said so <laughs> that could be another story push and couple so push put out a joint during the event that uh, Pharrell had in Paris it's a fashion event and uh, played a song which um, had some lines there that people thought he was going uh, what is happening one more interesting thing about that couple reply is that he mentioned malice and i don't think that is a good idea <laughs> uh, this might be like the most unpopular opinion of all opinions but i think malice is better than push like malice is nasty but that's just my opinion so couple going at malice might you know it could be different we just have to wait and see. Let's just wait and see. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Anyway, so this was just me rambling, Kidogo Kidogo, just to let you know I'm still out here, <clears throat> still outside. Uh, we might be doing a video. Um, tomorrow I'm meeting uh, JCB. For those who remember, I said I was going to meet JCB in Arusha, so tomorrow that's happening. I'm, I'm meeting him. We might have a sit down. Do a little thing yesterday i met uh, dj nikki but we didn't have a sit down because we were just uh he was taking me around arusha actually showing me places which was interesting if i had like charge on my phone i would have uh, recorded a few things but you know we didn't but shout outs to nikki man for showing me uh places in arusha that you know i have been to before but since arusha has changed so much it looked very different for me so uh nikki showed me around and for like uh, maybe half a day or so, we were just all over the place. We were. In... <sighs> it was fun. It was fun. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So this was just me rambling, Kiasi. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit me on the comments. Uh, tell me what's been happening. Let's talk. You know, when I get back, so that we can, you know, pick up where I left. Uh, the shows will resume as per usual, the evening ones, and then the pod. I'm planning to have. Uh, a pod with a co-host you will find out who that is when i when we record the first <laughs> episode so keep it locked other than that just yeah share tell your friends you know like subscribe hit the like uh notification button i'm so tired man that's why i'm confusing things i'm confusing the like and the subscribe button the everything so just let this one pass all right, talk to you on the next one. Peace out. Oh, before we go, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. 3,000. We are on the road to 3,000.